Hey, what if I'm, what if I'm getting some cheeks? <laughs> and then you just go and over. I just. <laughs> she think you dead. You don't think I died. I ain't gonna lie. You just gotta play dead at that point. You can't even tell. Just be like, just close your eyes and just don't speak. Just be like you passed out. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regis Podcast, episode number 95. I'm your host, DWAK Darius, and I'm here with my co-host, Ish, that was good to the people. Yerd, yerdy. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, uh, Subscribe to the Patreon, all that good stuff. We got new content, should be up there today. If you're watching this, there might be two, episode, two episodes up there. We got one with uh, me, Chris, and Ja'Kai. We got one with UJ. Tyrone and Jason, if you guys want to subscribe, that five dollars a month. If y'all not broke, if y'all broke, get your money up, nigga. Type it's only five dollars a month. Shit. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy. It's just to support us. We're doing more work for y'all. But if y'all don't want to, it's all good too. You know what I'm saying? More content, more everything. Type shit. New shit coming to the podcast. New uh, new games, new things of that nature. Merch coming soon. Merch coming in the summertime. Just waiting for my designer and all that shit. But yeah, <sighs> bro. Yo, you got my strawberry still, bro? Oh, shit, yeah. Niggas was dogging my nah, shit, bro. No, no, no. I had to put them down. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, bro. Yo, I've been, I told you yesterday, I've been, I've been fasting, bro. You said fasting? Yeah. What I do be, you mean by that? Like, like I'll eat like once a day, but it'll be like after like 24 hours. Mm. Is that is that crazy? Why is that? I don't know. Because I told you I'm going on the cruise, right? So I heard when you go on the, oh, yeah, people, I'm going on a cruise on Tuesday. So Tuesday, we're going on a cruise. On a Tuesday. It's Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, we're going on a cruise on Tuesday, and I heard you eat a lot on a cruise. Bruh, of course. So, I can't get you coming back looking crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, you just got to eat the right foods, bro. You be I'm right. not I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. I heard to. that shit is too good, bro. Bro, just, just stay away from the, the fatty stuff, bro. Nigga. Yeah. It's gonna I'm go- be impossible. Though. It's gonna be. Vi- it's impossible. <laughs> I heard, bro. There's like a freaking. Are you be all right, bro? Just you know, after you eat whatever you eat, bro, just go shoot some hoops or go do- shoot some or run around the cruise, <laughs> run, ar- run around that shit. I know. I heard. Isn't that you could, there's like a little like track you can run bro, around? Bro, there was people when I went on the cruise. There was people running around. I was like, what the? <laughs> really? Yeah, like that shit's big as hell. So how many cruises have you been on? Just one. Just one. Yeah. Oh, so it was just that one Disney cruise you went on. Yeah. Damn, I was young. Bro. He was lit though, even when I was young. But really? I'm trying to go on one now when I'm older. Type Shh. shit. And you went on the you went on the Disney one, right? Yeah. Damn, I'm going on the Carnival. I heard Carnival. So is Carnival Loki like the best one? Is that what they was talking about? I don't know, but that's probably the one f- for like I don't know because I know niggas are saying there's like a Norwegian cruise or some shit like that, and I think it's Norwegian Carnival, and then there's another one. Does Nickelodeon have a cruise ship? Or that's I think it's a Disney Channel. That's the Disney one you were talking about. I think so. I don't know. They might have one too, though. But there's a bunch of cruise lines. Honestly, a lot of them are good, though. But I heard the Carnival is okay. that, that shit. Okay. So if there's a storm out at sea, what happens? Does that the shit look... The give- shit, honestly, they probably... that Like I said, that shit is mad big. They probably just dock. Like, you're going to dock in the middle of the ocean. You're just probably going to wait it out. Yeah, just wait it out. Damn. Because I remember I seen Jay showed me a video. It was like, I guess there was in like a storm or some shit. Everything was just blowing all over the place. Like, imagine you get caught in a hurricane. Nah, because you got because you got to think about it. Nah, I think hurricane season, isn't it like, it's it's not it's not even now. I think the hurricane season is like in the Caribbean. It's like in the fall time. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I mean, but that's the thing though. You know, all storms, like even the storms that we have when it rains, you know, all storms they start like in the middle of the ocean. And that's shit. what I'm saying. Yeah, but no, nah, I'm telling you, cruises is they're built different. They're not like you know, back that's, then and stuff. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Type shit. So is it like? So is, is it really? It's really that scary at nighttime? I mean, I mean, like I say, unless you're just you know sitting outside and just looking over. Mm-hmm. You're probably not. You're going to be doing stuff at night, going to be getting something to eat, playing activities. Mm. But it's it's really nice at night, too, because it's like just calm and quiet and type shit. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, it's just dark, though. But you're going to, that's what I'm saying. You're going to be on a, a big ship, though. So it's like mad lights and stuff. But all like, right, all right. In the middle of the ocean, it, it's just complete darkness. Like, I know my dad's scared of shit because I think he thinks he's going to, like, first of all, nigga, we told him about the cruise. He was talking about something. Man, for my people, I can never go on a boat again. I said, what are you talking about? He's talking about like slaves. I'm like, what do you mean, your people? He's like, man, 
my people said we should never go back on a boat. I said, what's it? Like, this don't make no, this don't correlate. This is for fun and leisure. <laughs> said, We're not correlate. sending you into the freaking, like, go into that's, another nation. That's, that's some real shit, though. <laughs> like, what that's the fuck? Shit, I'm like, yo, bro, you'll be good. And he's all scared and shit. And he's talking about, yo, what if I fall off? I'm like, yo, just don't go on the edge. Nah, there's like, even, even that, they got, they got so much technology. Like, even the one I went on, they said, like, if that was to even to happen, they got like sensors around the whole shit. Like if that shit was to happen, like alert it will go off and they'll probably stop immediately and stuff. So they got like mad sensors, like okay, mad okay. technology nowadays. No cap. Okay, okay. Because I know, because I know niggas was. I think I think I don't know if I told you guys about that. You seen that that video of that kid? That not the one that there was a recent one where the kid jumped off the boat and they couldn't find that nigga. But there was oh, yeah. another one where. Uh, it was like a college student. They he jumped off like the top top of like mm. he would say he was like on the eleven. It was a carnival cruise too. It was like the eleven store. He jumped off that shit into the water. He was banned for life. Mm, yeah, bro, because it's dangerous. Like first, of all, bro, just think about that. Like if he would have landed the wrong way, he probably would have got messed up. He could have probably died. Low key, niggas is dumb as shit. Like I don't That's know. What I'm saying, I'm like, yo, because oh, I think I, I think I definitely did talk about you this because like the freaking. It's like basically like landing on on freaking like the surface of like rocks or some bruh, shit. Bro, people think water is soft. Bruh, it's yeah, not it's soft. Not. Bruh. It's not at all. Like it it could feel just like you landed on the floor. Bro, you never jumped. You tell me you could jump in a pool that's two, three feet. Do a belly flop, bro. Let me know how that feels. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how that Niggas feels. Niggas is crazy. <laughs> that shit hurts. And then oh, I, I remember where we're going. So we're going to we're going to Puerto Rico and then we're going to St. Thomas. Mm. And then we're going to Grand Turks. I think that's like Turks and Caicos or some shit for like a day. And then we're gonna come back. So it's like a, uh, it's a yeah. Turks nine day and Caicos. Yeah, that's, that's in the freaking Caribbean. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like one of those Caribbean oh, islands. Like you know, the, it's like the like, it's like the most small islands for like leisure and shit like I that. Know, I thought that was completely somewhere else. Like what, <laughs> like what, like in Europe or some shit. Nah, <laughs> like, that was like, like Asia. Yeah, or like. Off the coast of like Africa or something. Shit, I ain't gonna <laughs> nah, lie. Nah, low key, it do sound like it. it do sound yeah, like great. Yeah, I thought Turks it was like, Caicos, I it it was like, like over that. there type shit. I don't even know. Dang, yeah. I gotta go there. Yo, I, I heard. I've been seeing. I've been seeing mad people go there like last year. I heard there was like a like I remember you know uh, Corey went there last year with his dad. It was yeah. like a, there yeah. was like a freaking I've seen um, that shit looked tough. I feel like I think it was like a sale or some shit. Mm. Like a sale, as in like it's cheaper to go there last year because I seen there was like four or five people that that I know that went there. I thought it was hella expensive. <laughs> Didn't some freaking NBA players go there too, bro? Somebody went there. I think so. I forgot, but yeah, I gotta go there. Dang, that's like what's that's like three or four islands you said? Yeah, about about like yeah about like three. Yes, like that's I, nice. That's I, probably like two two days each island, probably type shit. Maybe I've been two in Puerto Rico, maybe and then, like one day at sea. Mm-hmm. Probably like two days at sea for going there, and mm-hmm. then on the way back, maybe. Yeah, that's valid. Though. I've been to St. Thomas and Puerto Rico, but I've just never been to Grand Turks though. Mm. Like St. Thomas is like it's like the Virgin Islands. Mm, yeah, I know where St. Thomas is. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know where the. That shit, nah, when we went there, bro, that shit, we had to fly on, like, them little-ass planes. Oh, the little, little planes? Like, we had to, we flew to Dominican Republic first, and then we had to take them little-ass planes, like, the ones that there was in, like... Oh, I forgot, because they got, like, small small airports yeah, and bro. shit, right? Like, like small island bro, type it was shit. like it was, like, the, the shit from Jurassic Park, like, that little-ass <laughs> airplane. My dad was scared of I shit, would bro. be scared. Nah. I would be scared. And it was, like, it was, like, an hour and a half. Like, it oh, wasn't even short. Nah. I'm like, nah, this is crazy. Nah. So, but you always fly it over water. Yeah, oh, yeah, I would, yeah. I would have been. It was. Bad. I would have closed my eyes. It, it, I would have closed. So, it was eyes. so bad. I was like, nah, this is this is a little weird, huh? What happened? It's playing. Yeah. Oh, uh, technical difficulties again, people. I gotta buy a camera. That's my next. That's my next purchase. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Cause it's all good. I'm gonna buy. You gotta wait till you. Yeah, you gotta buy the the right one. Them shits could be bread. Yeah, I know. Shits could be bread. I might I might start off with like little Zaki's. Like I remember Zaki was telling me like his cameras would cost like five hundred dollars. Yeah, bro. But what I was gonna do is I was gonna put the money that we made off TikTok, which is maybe almost like three thousand dollars, and I was gonna use that. I'll put it into like a business account, mm-hmm. and then when that business account, I'll like you know I'll pay for like either cameras. Lights and shit like that, and then indeed, I'll indeed. I'll sign up for business credit. So with yeah. the business credit, them niggas will give you, you know, they'll probably give you like maybe twenty five thousand dollars for your mm-hmm. business and shit like that. Like well, I make an LLC first, and then with that twenty five thousand dollars, I can like start like funding shit. Mm. So that's that's why I, I got to do more research into that for especially for 
like during the summertime, I'm just gonna look into it more so I don't so I don't like get into like crazy debt out yeah. of nowhere. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I got some debt right now. It's it's debt and it's debt. It's right debt now. right now. Yeah, it'd be like that, bro. It'd be like that. But yeah, so we gotta go. We're going to all these, going to these islands. So I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna, I gotta edit a lot on the island on the boat, but I'm trying to get all this shit done by tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes, though. Type shit. Yeah, but yeah, my yo, my dad just been telling me like, yo, he's been scared like all the fucking sinking and shit like that. I'm like this, the boat would not yeah, sink. Them, them shits are built. I mean, them shits are probably built better than some of these buildings. I That's mean, what I'm saying. Them shits, the technology in that shit is next level. I was like, how's this even? It feels like you're on a giant like moving building. Like, That's what that's I'm really saying. What it is. Exactly. And he'd be like, yo, how does this even float? I'm like, yo, don't even question it. Just, 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 just stay and just enjoy your time. Go drink and some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, but y'all, y'all gonna be too busy to be worried about what's actually. That's what I'm saying. Driving the boat and stuff. I'm excited though. I've never been on a cruise before. Uh, shit, I'm telling not. you, it's gonna be one of the best. Cause even I've been on hella vacations. That's still one of the best things I've been on. She Word, was, she was lit. Oh, I, oh, I. But I got, I got a question to ask you now. Yo. Yep. So since we're talking about that, yep. would you rather have been on the Titanic oh, or shit. in the Twin Towers before the disaster happened? Damn. So you don't even know what's about to happen, but you're either on the Titanic or on the in the Twin Towers. Hmm. Um. That's a that's a <laughs> that's a sticky situation both ways. Dang, wait, I don't know. Either of them are happening. Nah, you just you're just acting like you're just a passenger on the Titanic, or you're a freaking. Wait, who? What? More people survived where the Titanic? No, nah, Titanic. I think it was like two thousand something people on the boat. I think like fifteen hundred died, bro. Oh damn, that was a lot. Like <laughs> it was a lot of people that died but on the, that shit. The towers. What floor am I on? The towers, though. It can, you could be on whatever, but you Damn. might be lucky. You might just go get some lunch that day. Damn. Mm. I think I'm going to pick the... T- what are you picking, bro? I don't even... Um. I think I'm going to pick the Titanic because I feel like that will give me more time to think of a way to survive. Because if you are... Nah, I think I would pick actually... The Towers? Damn, what if I'm on like the top top? That's what I'm saying. You're on the top top. Like the only thing is either death, like you're either gonna die from the fire or you gotta jump. Yeah, no, actually <laughs> Titanic is don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'm a, at least I could jump into the water. Wait, I that shit freezing the, though. <laughs> they go, what you gonna do? You gonna jump from the hundredth floor? Gang? I'm not doing that. No, I'm gonna see like this you is what can't I'm gonna, even make it down. See, this is what I'm gonna do. At least when the Titanic's sinking, it's not going to sink in like five minutes. It took like maybe two, three hours. So it's giving me enough time to finesse my way on a boat. That's what I'm saying. I, th- I think I'm going to do the Titanic too because but bro, I'm just jumping in the water, bro. Even though it's ice, I'm going to see a boat. I'm going to jump. Low key, I might find like a little ice cap. <laughs> you said like a glacier like a little Like a little glacier. I'll, I'll stand bro, on the glacier. I'll be, be cool. You're going to be freezing, bro. Fuck it, bro. <laughs> Fuck it. I I can't like the I, like the the twin yeah. towers, bro. Them niggas was literally this shit was cr- like they was really jumping out. Yeah, nah. Um, or like just waiting in the fire. Like I don't think I could do that, bro. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I think Titanic's I'm just gonna freeze. Away. I'm just gonna freeze, bro. But you know the crazy thing about the Titanic, about what supposedly really happened about it. Hmm. So like people say, like you know the whole story of the Titanic it sunk because it hit an iceberg, right? Yeah. But the whole time it was low key a setup to kill like the richest people in the world. Mm. So supposedly, right? So at the time it was like early 1900s. The richest people in the world were J.P. Morgan, uh, John Rockefeller, and the Rothschilds. Yeah. So those three were the richest people in the world, and they all wanted a central bank, mm. like you know, central bank that can mo- uh, monetize all the money and shit like that. But the only person that was standing their way it was the richest man in the world. His name was like John Alser or something like that. What, what was his name? His name was Jacob Astor. Mm. His name was Jacob Astor. He was the richest man in the world. He was the only person that didn't want a central bank mm. out of all of them. And they tried to convince him, but he was like, "No, nah, I don't want that." He had like he owned like forty percent of like the world's mortgages and shit like that. Ooh, so they were all on that boat. They were all set to sail because it was J.P. Morgan's boat. They was like, "Oh, let's go party and shit like that. Let's go." Oh. I, I don't know where Titanic's going, but as they was leaving, those three like J.P. Morgan, Rothschild, and Rockefeller, they left. They left the boat, but like right before they died, like they just left or they never showed up. And five days later, that's when it sank. It hit the iceberg, supposedly. But people think, like experts looked at it again and they said that it wasn't, it might have not been the iceberg, but like in the bottom of the 
ship where like the kitchen or the hole is was like an explosion because there was a hole in it. Mm. So they think they set him up and he he even though he was the richest man in the world, he couldn't find a boat and he sank with the ship. And then a year later, that's when they created the Federal Bank. Hey, yo. So imagine cause and now the Federal Bank is the shit that's like freaking like controlling all of our money. And they it just is. print money out of it. that's no Cause like you know, niggas always be like, especially the rich people. It's easy to set niggas up. It really is. And if they, if the rich niggas don't like you, bro, they gonna get you out of here. They are. Like even, like even the you've been hearing about the shit with the little submarine. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The memes be having me crying. Nah, I mean, the internet's the internet's foul. But like, do you do you under like you know the whole story about it though, right? Yeah. Do you? It's just crazy. Like about how like if people if you don't know if you don't know about it, you're fucking weird. So <laughs> <laughs> so there was a Titan sub. That went down. That was supposed to see the wreck of the Titanic, and it cost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a ticket. Who the hell is buying that? Yo, I see uh, our condolences <laughs> to the family, but I see the funny me. That Wait, shit what said. Was it? That shit said them niggas went down in a in the Advil pill because <laughs> he said they went down in the Advil. Now he, it was mad small though, and it had and it had. Yo, I didn't peep, but. It didn't even have windows. It had one window. And they said they couldn't even see out of it That's for real. That's what I'm saying. Nah, so you're telling me you paid 250 That's what I'm saying. Rich people just be doing stuff just to do stuff. Nah, there's They no- just be doing stuff just to say they did it. Like, I'm saying. And they don't they got that same trip to go to the moon? It's like the space? same price. I would not do that Hell either. No. I would not go down to the bottom of the ocean or space. <laughs> I would not do either of those things. Hell no. But I'm like bugging. But like that like first of all, as a rich person, I remember somebody was somebody DM me was talking about he told me to like, talk about because he, he had like his thoughts on it. Mm-hmm. As a rich person, like rich people are also cheap because they don't like spending what they not, they don't like. Mm-hmm. So if, as a as a millionaire billionaire whatever, if you look at that shit, be like this like this looks completely safe. I w- if I'm rich, I will look at that and like I won't think that's safe at all. Bro that's what I'm saying, though. They just be doing stuff. And I heard a rumor, too, was another rumor. Like, I don't know who was driving it or something, but they said they didn't want to hire a dude who was, like, 50 years old. They said he was experienced with, like, submarines. He's yeah. been doing that shit for, like, 30 years, had mad experience, all that shit. They said they didn't want to hire him because he didn't fit the criteria the aesthetic of nah just the aesthetic of like what they were doing? trying to do or some shit what's that niggas had controller <laughs> controlling the controller motherfucker. was like a 20 dollar controller that's too, what i'm gang. saying first of all like that's crazy as soon as i seen would have seen the controller i'm not walking in there I'm, bro had a freaking xbox controller and you <laughs> thought i was about to go on that shit. that's what i'm saying and it was mad weird because first all right so at first they said they lost the ship. They didn't know what happened to her. So I'm like, okay, they lost it. They don't know where it went. And then they said they had four like four days of air left in there. And then as soon as the four days was up, they found the ship. And they said it imploded. Bruh, I heard some more conspiracy. I heard rumors that low-key, it didn't even... I heard it didn't even explode on the day it said it explode. They said... Because you know how... There's, there's also su- other submarines down there. Yeah. And they said they got secret ones for like, you know, just in case... Somebody tries to invade us. Like, yeah, yeah. They got secret. Mil- they said the military heard an explosion like three, four days ago. They just, really? They just didn't say anything because they thought it was something else. And it was mad deep in the ocean and it exploded. So, wow. But it's like, and it's, bruh, it's like even the, the people's kids were acting weird. Like, did you, bruh. bro, did you see the kid that one of the, one of the guy's son was on Twitter? That nigga went to a concert. He went to a concert. There was another, I think, somebody else was on Twitter. He was like tweeting at like porn stars <laughs> on some crazy shit. Like he was like, he was like, man, this is a dark day for my family and things that there. Next tweet, he's like, damn, girl, your shit fat. He was <laughs> on some crazy <laughs> shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going nah, on? No, wait, five billionaires though. That's five. That's that's five. That's hella bread. That's five uh, strong people in this world. That's what I'm saying. And it was like, I don't think it was. I think there was like millionaires, but like. But like it's crazy because no, I think they were billionaires. They was billionaires. The oh, because yeah, the dude. One of the dudes was like a, a oil dude. Like yeah, he yeah, yeah. Had oils and stuff. I think what I think it is. I think they paid two fifty to like bro, go off the light. grid, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, rich people do stuff. They do stuff because they want to. They feel like they have the most money in the world. Who could stop them? Not even, not even you. The president. The president or. The king or wherever they live at could stop them because they got so much money. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, 
since they got so much money, they they do stuff out of the laws. Like exactly, they probably what they probably knew it wasn't that safe, yo. And I bet you that company, that Ocean Gate company, they probably made them sign a contract. I was like, hey, bro, if something happens to you, that's why I heard more rumors that they was like, yo, like they not even paying for no no funerals or or nothing for anybody. I'm that's like, not weird, bro. I'm like, they might they made them sign the contract saying if y'all die, it's it's not on us, bro. I think I think them niggas like. I think they faked their death on some crazy shit. Yo. Not gonna lie, because think about it. You know, the, you know who the nigga was that was piloting the sub. Duh. It was the owner of the whole company. Oh, so like, just imagine, like he faked his death, so now he can't get the backlash for it. Like, who the fuck? He can't. Who you gonna blame? He did. And then I heard somebody else, like all the mother niggas, they just because like that's some WIQ shit. I ain't go. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> yo, man. Because I heard before that, like they was getting they was getting sued because. They was doing other trips, but like they was canceling it for no reason, and people started suing them oh, because they're scamming they, them. Yeah, scamming them. <laughs> so imagine, bro. They was nigga. like, "Yo, give me that three hundred k. We'll take you next year. Next year never <laughs> came." Never came. So then I guess all the lawsuits was coming. So he's like, "All right, we have all these millionaires in here. Let's do this shit." And then first of all, it went public for no reason. Like I feel like that shit was all over social media niggas, for no reason. They just said that shit was better than the NBA Finals <laughs> game. <laughs> Say niggas was tuned in. Nah, bro. Niggas was making memes out of nowhere. I was like, nah, that shit was crazy. But I think, I think them niggas, I think them niggas set themselves up to like, like, to go ghost or something like to fake hey, their man, own death. I just feel like, you know, even if, even if I have so much money in the world, I could have all the money in the world. There's still just certain things I'm just not going to do. That's what I'm saying. There's just certain things I'm just, if I feel like my life is too much at risk anywhere, anytime, I don't care how much money, what technology I got, bro. If I feel like I can't control anything I'm around, bro, I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't mess with that. Like even I can't mess with that. even after they said the ship the ship imploded or whatever, that's when they that's when the video of like how the actual shit looked like Yo, came out right afterwards. Like why don't you show us before? <laughs> yeah. Like what the fuck is going on? Like bro. this was like the weird. Now nah, this was the weirdest shit ever, bro. Like this shit made no sense. I'm like nah, bro. I could. Uh, Random events just be happening. It just be bro. happening. Just be happening. Just be happening. I'm just be like, yo, y'all niggas crazy. <laughs> that, y'all, that's your own fault. A lot of uh, unusual um, Usual. instances and people in this world. Mm-hmm. Hey, bro. But if they were down there, condolences to their families. Yeah, I'm sorry. Care. This is just this is just a podcast. We don't really do much around here, but just talk shit. <laughs> yeah. But not, not talking down. On not it. talking down. We're just talking about the subject. Yeah, you know what I'm just, saying? Just how it happened. And stuff. Just vibing. We just vibing. Still crazy. Very crazy. Yeah. But I got another question. So since we're talking about that, would you rather mm. get stuck in a space station in space damn, damn, damn. or get lost in the ocean <laughs> in a sub? <gasps> no. I knew he was going to hit me with that cheese. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. So, like, there's a potential that you could get saved. Mm. But it's like, which one is going to take the longest or which one might not happen? Dang, so I'm in a sub. I can't be on, like, a regular boat, bro. Nah, you underwater, <laughs> gang. <laughs> you underwater, gang. Wait, I'm, like, hella deep, like how they was? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Bro, but, nah. I think I might, I think I still might do, I think I'm, wait, I'm, like, I'm in a spaceship or I'm like floating in space. No, 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 no. Floating nah. in space would be maximum. No, nah, you're like you're like in the you're in a spaceship, but it's like damaged and like they need to save you or like you could get sent into the cosmos. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I feel like dang. Like who could really save you for real? That's what I'm saying. How when was the last time a spaceship went up, cuz? Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk gonna Elon save Musk? didn't I heard the last time they did a freaking didn't it something like blow up or something? Or that was they, a while ago. Oh, uh, that was when they was like they like sent like teachers or shit up there. They were so yeah. excited that shit exploded. I think I still might do space though. No, nah, I might do space because that pressure down there is just is too maximum. They like, said they couldn't. You can't even go down there and like retrieve anything, bro. Because that implosion, you see the way it looked. It ba- they basically disintegrated. Yeah, yo, they said it happened in. Point thirty milliseconds. Exactly. I think you don't know how fast that. That's that's not even a second. I don't even know how much a millisecond is to a second. That's like that's like a third of a second, bro. And they said like it takes your brain like point five milliseconds to comprehend something is wrong. So that shit killed them before they even knew it was like something went wrong. That's what I'm saying. They didn't even feel it. No, they didn't feel it. They just died. Just imagine, like, now nah, just imagine you literally just like you blink and you're dead. 
this might sound crazy <laughs> Wait. this might sound crazy but if i had to go out like that hey bro that, that's that's instant death that's instant death so you rather do that one than be no 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 no, no. <laughs> this space? Oh, no i think i'll still do space though because i'll be scared of nigga. at least in space i know there's like just i mean i don't know there could be aliens but i mean i'm looking around and it's just <laughs> stars black, and shit and dark i'll rather be up there because ocean not nah, I have mad things about the ocean. I, I believe there's shit. What if a fucking like kraken or giant squid is down there? I believe mm. I believe the giant squid is down there, bro. Because they used to fight freaking whales and shit. Yeah, I know. Bro. They be talking about this shit all the time, bro. No, I'm scared of that. What if it just like it's gonna eat the submarine? That's that's bro. what I was thinking <laughs> in my head. I'm like, imagine I, that's why that was the first thing that came to mind. I was like, oh, that, the fucking squid got these niggas. <laughs> I ain't what gonna I'm, lie, the squid what got I'm them saying. niggas. Or what if like a giant shark is down there? No one knows about. Like, nah, bro. There's low key aliens down there in the nigga, ocean. They was saying that in the ocean, like scientists, like they put like cameras in the ocean. They found a 66 foot long squid. 66 that's what I'm saying. That's like feet. bigger than a bus. That's, that's what I'm saying. Than a bus. They seen that. They seen a giant whale down there. And the person asked him, they was like, so is it possible for like a sea monster to be down? He said, yeah, it's possible. I said, what the fuck? What do you mean, yeah, it's possible? Like, nigga, what? I would not, I would not be down the ocean. And I heard we know more about space than we know about the ocean, too. That's nuts. How? Nigga, that's what I'm saying. That makes no sense. And then they was talking about, huh, they was talking about, like, I guess, I think Russia went to Antarctica. And like, you know how, like, o- under the ice, there's like actual like lakes and shit. Mm-hmm. So like, they drilled the hole all the way down and they found like new organisms. Like a whole new ecosystem. They don't even know what it is. So imagine they find some big shit down there. Bro, they gonna find... I don't know, bro. Even, bro, even on the, you know, the Google Maps and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, when you zoom in and you see, like, you can see, like, in the ocean and shit like that. They was looking, like, at an oil spill, I think. It was some oil, some shit off the coast. Yeah. And they see they see a picture of a shark. And they put that picture next to, like, the same, like, like zoomed in of, like, a picture of, like, a school bus. And it was, like, twice as big. <sighs> of a school bus. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, nah, bro. That's why. Yeah, I'm gonna be in space. <laughs> I'm gonna I be in space. I can't at be. Least, in... At least there's nothing else out there. At least that I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. Like the deep sea fishing, that should probably scare me a little. Cause I see, eat, yo, I don't know. TikTok nah, fishing be is lit. Fishing is lit. You been deep sea fishing before? Fishing is lit. Yeah, bro. Have you caught anything big? Yeah, bro. It's like what? Like some freaking big old bass. Oh, really? Giant bass, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm, bro. Deep sea fishing, it doesn't mean it just means you go like far in out. the far in the ocean. Yeah, I know what yeah. You mean. but it's it's very lit. That's what I'm saying. When I went on that cruise, we went deep sea fishing, but where we went, nigga, it was in the Bahamas, so the water was as clear as the waters we drink. So we could see everything that was in the we saw mm-hmm. all the fish. We saw sharks, stingrays, freaking crazy rainbow color fish like we it was so lit i caught a shark bro i, know I was like yo about that. i was just chatting too that day i was like yo dad I, it would be so funny if i catch a shark ha, ha, ha. and i start reeling some shit in i'm like wait this shit kind of <laughs> strong and i'm like 13 14 and bro i pull it up it's a shark i'm like oh no nah, i got scared <laughs> the dudes the bahama dudes had to freaking go and and cut do the shit it. out for you yeah because they be biting and stuff yeah, they yeah. be biting you seen that one where the nigga like I guess it was like a dad. He was like he 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 caught a shark and he was like messing around with it, trying to like take the hook out of his mouth like by himself and the shit bit and like bit his thumb off. And it was on. I'm like I'm like oh hell bro, no. There's certain fish that but it's it's so it's so much fun, bro. Because there's so much technology nowadays. Like I said, you get on a nice sized boat, bro. Mm-hmm. Just like how they got them freaking UAVs and Call of Duty. Nigga, they got that same shit just for fish. It's like a like sonar, sonar like a sonar radar and. You look on the map and it's just, they don't come up like exactly what the fish is, but it'll be like dots and stuff. Oh, you, really? You go and you cast over there, bruh, you're going to get something. Yeah. Yo, because um, Jay's Jay's uncle, I was telling you about it in the car, he 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 goes deep sea fishing a lot. He be wanting me to go out with him, but like I heard that niggas get seasick, so I'm like, ah. Uh, yeah, be- you got to You got to start going. Before you go deep sea, you got to go on like regular- Regular fishing. Little, little boats like in- Yeah. Like the, the rivers and, and stuff, mm-hmm. yeah, because you will definitely be sick out there. If you've never been on a boat before, you will definitely, you will Bruh, definitely be sick. That nigga said he caught a swordfish, Bruh, You could that shit's big as fuck. There's so that's what I'm saying. The ocean too, like you know, you go freshwater. There's only a certain amount of fish mm-hmm. you can catch, nigga. You go in the ocean. There's 
you can catch anything. Like, mm-hmm. We were we were going for bass, but there's so much. There's big ass fish. There's blue fish. There's sturgeons. There's it's in the marlins. There's groupers. Groupers. Giant, is big as giant fuck. fish, bro. And that's what I'm saying. Them fishing, it be take. You know how sometimes them three, four, five hundred pound fish. Yeah. You know some. Some of them, like, how long it takes them, it'd be taking them, like... The whole day. Yeah. Like, there was this one dude in the chair, he caught, like, a 500, 600-pound marlin. He was in the chair for 10 hours. Really just fighting with that hours. shit? 10 hours, yes. Going to... Letting it back, reeling it in. It was going out, reeling it in. Nigga, he got that fish. It was, like, thousand, thousand do- thousands of dollar fish. I forgot. He sold it for so much money. Wow, bro. So much money. So, that's OD, bro. A thousand, nah, like thousands, thousands, and think about tuna too. Yeah, and think about them giant tunas they catch. You know how many cans of tuna you can make at? Yeah, it, right? I know that's hella bread. That's so much bread. Freaking like you know, like you know the the um like the fishing like the fishing competitions and shit. Mm-hmm. Freaking Jay's brother, he loves fishing. Like he he goes fishing all the time. So he was telling me that I guess there was a fishing competition and these guys were supposed to win three million dollars because I think they caught either a swordfish or a giant tuna. Something like that. It was supposed to win three million dollars, but then a shark came and took the tuna. Yo, on the set, I seen that too. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm. That's what I'm saying. The ocean is just is no joke. Like anything could happen. You could really, you could go out looking for a certain fish. Like yeah, we about to go for bass today and shit, and just you'll get hella shit. random shit. Like it could be anything. It could be anything. Damn, bro. But it's it's fun though. So, so what, I'm saying, once you got that, once you got the cheese, the technology, the radars, it tells you where to fish at. Oh man, any any bait you put on there, you put on fish, worms, whatever. Certain fish like certain things, but. They eat anything. Bro. So, so when you was on the boat, did they get when they when you went deep sea fishing? Did they give you the rods, or did you bring? Oh, uh, it depends. Like it depends who you go with and stuff. If you go with the fishing crew or whoever, they probably most likely have rods. But you could bring your rods too. Okay, okay. But they got like you literally fishing with with other fish. Like there's this fish called a uh, bunker and stuff. They be like this big type yeah. shit, but nigga. Cut that shit in half. Use it as bait. Niggas so you get, get some shit. some big bass, some mm. other other fish. Yeah. So what was the longest you ever like had to like wait to like reel in a fish? Um, I mean, I ain't I ain't catch no. The biggest fish I caught. Um. Dang, probably recently I caught this. It only it was only like a couple minutes, but I was doing it for a couple minutes. I ain't oh, really? gonna lie. It was like a. It was like a. 10 pound freaking carp oh, really? caught that uh in the freshwater yeah you be at the rivers or the lakes um i'd be at the rivers now but me and my dad used to be on the lakes when we used to use the boat a lot we we need to start using that again because the boat <laughs> when you're on the boat you could get to anywhere you could get to and go all the way down the river and shit when yeah. you're on land you don't want to walk all over yeah, the place you, and shit you. with all your shit yeah that but, should be a hassle Wait, so is it is you you got a rowboat or is it like a motorized boat? Nah, we got we have oars and stuff to row, but like we have motors and stuff. Oh, okay, okay, that's clean, shit. that's clean. Dang, bro. But it's it's cool though. But like I said, fish is not for everybody though. You gotta be patient. You gotta like it, yeah, and be patient. Like, nigga, there's days you gonna go out. That's what I'm saying. Niggas think, oh yeah, of course the best part of fishing is getting the fish, getting the fish. But yeah. it's just about the whole experience, cause bro, there's times niggas went out there deep sea. And niggas dead ass only caught like two fish. You gotta think about it, yo. The freaking gasoline for that is dummy bread. Really, dummy bread. Like for like one of them thirty foot boats, bro. It could be like for gas to fill it up because they got so many horsepowers. Yeah, bro. To fill it up easily, like three, four, five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Yes. What the fuck you even fill that shit yes. up at? There's things on the on the, oh, on the boat. Do- yeah, oh. there's like gas stations, Loke. And them shits are bread. They're not like the regular gas prices. Damn. They what the bread. 500? Because then, the horsepower's on the boat got to be strong as hell in yeah. the ocean. Oh, the ocean is no joke. Oh, the waves nah. and stuff. But that's what I'm saying. Having a boat is really like... Uh, one that can go in the ocean at least is just mad bread, and you gotta have bread. You got yeah. a boat, you got bread. Like, do you gotta pay to have it like dock? Like, yeah, to put that's it what I'm in saying. You gotta pay for everything. You gotta pay maintenance. You gotta have it staying on the water. Even if you got it on land, you gotta pay for. It. If you got it in a a trailer in the parking lot, you gotta yeah. pay for it in the spot. You gotta you gotta pay for everything. Wow, yeah. bro, dang, that's crazy. But it's so much fun. That's what I'm saying. If you know somebody with a boat, go out. 
That shit Dude, is fun. That shit is <laughs> fun. It's very fun. Have you ever have you ever been on like those little yacht boats? Ah, I've been I've been dying to. I want to go on a nice. I feel like a, a nice yacht party is just gonna be so lit, like in the bay yeah. or something, not too far out in the middle. I want to go on a yacht. Yacht is so far. Like like you remember that lake we used to go to in high school, uh, Hopat Kong, whatever. Yeah, I feel like they got a lot of. They have a lot of like yacht parties over there because yeah. I heard that lake is like bigger than like where we was at. Like it goes like it wraps yeah, no, around. It goes. It goes. It goes uh, farther. I think. Yeah. Yeah. They I heard that shit's huge. Big old. Boats over there. Yeah, so. bro. They be having things with jet skis and shit like that. Yeah. Like, can you... Did you... Can jet you go, skiing is lit. Jet skiing is nigga, lit. If we go... If there's jet skiing in the shit, I'm going on that motherfucker. Bro. But I be scared, though. Bro. Because I can't stop. What? Oh, yeah, bro. What? If you I, When I was in freaking Florida, bro, I was pushing, bro. My dad was with my brother. Bro, they were making waves. Nigga, I was hitting they waves. Yeah, I was just bro, flying, my nigga. things are so strong, bro. Bro, I was on one... That could fit four people. Oh, really? It could fit four people and still go full speed. I was only on with my cousin, and bro, we both like a hundred something pounds, so it wasn't even that much, bro. I was going like fifty, yeah, 60 yeah, in yeah. the water, <laughs> and I still wasn't even going full speed. That's bro. what I'm saying, bro. I was, I'd be scared. I'm thinking like I'm gonna go too fast. I hit a wave. I'm a fucking like. Oh, you 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 could go flying because my my other my little cousin and my aunt. Oh, they hit a wave. They went flying. That's it was saying. it was funny though. <laughs> it was funny though. Like, but, were you in the open ocean or using? Yeah, no, I was in. The, I mean, I was. It was like at the beach, but they made us go. Like they was like, yeah, all right, yeah. once you go past that mark, you can go freely. But it was like I could still see the the ocean and the yeah, beach yeah. and stuff. So I was. It's not like we're dead deep in the middle of the ocean. You okay, can't okay. see nothing. But yeah, like you could still see the beach and the people. Like yeah, it was it was so much fun, bro. I went like I went a couple of times. Like I went one time in uh Bahamas. We was in the ocean. So like in the Bahamas in the morning, there's like kids that's like uh eleven or twelve, mm -hmm. and they'll you'll see them. So like we're, we went, I went to um the Atlantis shit. Yeah. So like there's like a canal, right? And in the morning, like seven in the morning, there's like twenty of them riding in jet skis. Like they mm -hmm. come out the canal and they come to the uh, the beach and they dock their shit. They be like, oh, twenty dollars to ride the jet ski. So you get the, get on the jet ski and you have to go out, but it's like. So there's like a little, there's an island, like maybe like a couple, it's not that, I was just saying, it's not, maybe like a couple, maybe three, 400 yards out. Mm -hmm. And it's like a, like a, like an island. So it's like, yeah, you guys got to go over there. It's low key type far. Like when you go over there, it's like blue, blue. And like mm. the, when you, like, I didn't want to stop because when you stop, you can see the bottom yeah. and that shit just keeps going. That shit was scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. But like me and my dad, we would just like race around the island and shit like that. And then I went. A couple years ago with Jay when we went to Florida, but it was in a lake, and it's crazy because the week before, they they had an accident. Like there was a there was a dad and a dad, a daughter, and then the the uncle and a and the another cousin or something like that. So the uncle and the daughter was riding on jet ski, and then the dad and the cousin was on the one. So I guess they was playing around like ha ha. They was playing chicken. So he was riding and he didn't notice, and he hit the girl on the side and she lost her leg oh yeah yeah no nah, i was not you can't play with that. that's what i'm saying you, you see how fast they go bro yeah bro i was i was not i was telling my dad bro stay as far as hell yeah, as away ways. from yeah, i was just bro. going over his ways when he would make the ways but yeah i was not near nobody because yeah that could easily happen bro. because they be yo people even when we was there somebody ran into the dock because they freaking they didn't know they forgot like the brake was on the, the yeah. left side uh -huh. so they, they went like this and that just said <laughs> shit and ran right into the dock. I'm like, oh, nah, yeah, niggas is crazy, mad damage bro. and stuff. Them shits are expensive. Nah, bro, bro. Like I said, you know how expensive the freaking, the gas was, bro. Some of them, some of them, the the motors, bro, the motors itself be like easy, like couple, couple hundred K. A hundred K for the motor? for the motor. Nah, there was like OD. There was like four motors on that boat, bro. So, so how much you think a boat like, like that probably costs? Like a Shit. like a million or like a couple hundred thousand. That's what I'm saying. Like an actual like a like the probably a couple hundred thousand, but then after a while it might be like a mill because all you the pay for all this shit. and then yeah. all the the gas easily million million dollars. Dang, bro, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Them yachts are like stupid money, like mm -hmm. stupid stupid money. I feel like I don't think no. Nah, I never been on a yacht, but I've been like. Like when I go on like the islands and shit, they'll have the yachts docked at the the shit. Yeah, no, I, I wanna, just walk I wanna, past it. I want to go on a yacht. I need to go to a yacht party so bad. Fire. <laughs> Fire.
I heard this is is tough. Yeah. But I, I got a question. Yep. So someone's offering you ten million dollars, mm. but the circumstances is that once a day, forever, your body will go randomly limp for thirty minutes. <laughs> so just imagine right now, you won't be able to feel nothing from the neck down for thirty minutes, and then it'll come back. Wait, I won't feel nothing, or I just can't move type shit. Uh, both. Damn. So I'm just gonna be like. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be stuck for thirty minutes. Dang, for how long? Thirty uh, for the rest of your life. Whoa! But you get ten minutes. When do I get? You said you get, get 10, ten million. Ten million dollars, but when a, though? No, you get it right. Like I'll give it to you, but that's the circumstance. Oh, for the rest of my life, nah, dude. But it's like it's every so every day, but it'll be like thirty minutes out the day. Deed. <laughs> deed. That's not enough money. What if I'm driving? That's what I'm saying. That's just dumb. <laughs> I ain't I'm, gonna lie. What if I'm uh? Doing something, hey! What if I'm, what if I'm getting some cheeks? <laughs> and then you just go. And I just. <laughs> she think you dead. You don't think I died? I ain't gonna lie. You just gotta play dead at that point. You can't even tell her. Just be like, just close your eyes and just don't speak. Just be like you passed out. I that might be, be a doing, compliment. I though. could be doing so many things. What if I'm like riding a motorcycle or something? And then she go limp. <laughs> I'm dead. Damn, I'm bro. dead. The rest of my life is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of my life is too crazy. <laughs> you might uh, get used to it though. I don't want to live with that. Ten million is not enough though. I don't think ten million is enough. Nah. Hundred million. Hundred million. Now that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I think I could find a way if it was a hundred million. Ten million, not hundred million. I think I could do it. But dang, bro, that's I don't like that. It's random. I know that would be so. If ad. I could do it at a set time every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, seven o'clock. Just remember, you' about to die for like thirty minutes. <laughs> See, like maybe you wake up one day and then it just happens. You just can't get up. Like, damn, let's go. Now I can go throughout I can my go day. the whole day. But no, you straight? Nah, I don't want to live like that. <laughs> that's, that's not that's not something I want to live. So like. not for a hundred million either. Nah, damn, a billion. That's a lot of money. A, a billion, billion, you got to. I ain't gonna lie, you got to. <laughs> a billion is crazy. <laughs> See, imagine Bruh, you get. I don't want to live like that though. I don't care how. Albert's 30 bread? minutes <laughs> bro even if uh, even if it was one minute bro still what if i'm driving i'm dead i know <laughs> yeah nah if anything i will get a chauffeur and like have niggas just drive me around everywhere mm. that would be the only that'll be a hack that'll be like just have a chauffeur but then, nah because like like i said i like to i'll be doing hella stuff like activity? what if i'm like swimming oh my god oh I'm yeah dead. you're dead yeah you're dead i'm literally dying <laughs> you're drowning i'm literally dying i oh. can't even do nothing i'm just <laughs> i'm just falling maybe you might float you got buoyancy nah. still <laughs> so what if i'm in like a weird position oh no nah, it's ass. you gotta like balance your body out to like <laughs> damn all right, all right all right all right so i got another question so if you had to take over the world whose mm. powers would you rather have Magneto's, Mystique's, or Professor X's? Um, honestly, whose power would you rather have? Nah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with my boy, uh, Professor X. Professor X? Yeah. What, what was what was his power? Was he, he could like I like, think he can like mind con- mind control. Was it niggas? mind control? He do something with his mind. Yeah, it was like mind control, and like he can like. Like say he could like you know that little cerebral shit. Yeah, he, he can like, like talk to you and stuff like, like through other the people. World. Yeah. Oh yeah, I needs that. But like now you're in a wheelchair. Oh shit. Yeah, because that nigga, remember his it was it was so like like that shit he had to freaking like take a pill so like he would lose some of his power so he could walk. Mmm. Dang. Low key mystique is a little underrated. Yeah. Nah. It's very op because I could be anybody. You could be anybody. I could be anybody. But like, then I feel like that would get. Nah, that will get played out after a while. You think so? Like you could, you could pretend to be Joe Biden like real quick. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. That's too like much she, work. She lives her, she lives her life hiding. Like yeah. she hides all the time. But it's shit. so easy though. Yeah. Does she take? Can she use like other people's like powers? I mean, there's nobody with powers in this world, so they don't even make. They don't even matter. No, nah, I think she just disguises herself. And like Magneto I, is cheese. Magneto though. is cheese. Cause like, bro, ain't the. Ain't low key the the, the the middle of the earth is made has out of iron. Metal? Yeah, that nigga oh, was yeah. like he fucking could, with the. He could like change the bring mag- up the world, bro. bro that nigga could low key fuck with the gravity with the magnetic uh, field or some Dang, shit like low that. Low key, I might take Magneto. I don't want to be in no wheelchair, cause <laughs> you gotta take Magneto. I ain't gonna lie. Cause what if somebody just cooks me one day? Like, <laughs> I'm lacking. I'm just, sleeping. 
or something. Oh, and that's true. You could get assassinated. Easy. <laughs> I could just get killed. You could get at, sniped. At least like Magneto, you know, I could freaking Stop bend, the- bend the house or put a freaking skyscraper on you or something. Yeah, Z or you controls. could you could stop the bullet, Loki. You can stop bullets. Oh yeah, they metal cooked. Yeah, Magneto. Yeah, I'm taking. Okay, Magneto. I take Magneto. I take yeah. Magneto. Because also it would take them a minute for them to adapt to not using like like metal. Because oh, if, yeah, they wouldn't. I mean, I'll take them like years, like 10. When they're gonna freaking shoot me with plastic bullets, I'm gonna be like, ow. ow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Magneto is tough. Damn, bro. I was asking that because I started, I was watching, I, I rewatched all the X Men movies. Yeah, X Men was tough. X Men like, was I very like, underrated. I like the X Men a lot. Do you, do Wait, you, what are they? Are they are they Marvel or DC? They're I don't Marvel. Know. They're oh, Marvel. They are. The, but they're like, it's like. They like their own thing, low key. Yeah, they're like because there was there was with Fox and shit. But like I think they're gonna they're MCU now, so they're gonna start making like more Marvel, Marvel mm. movies. That's why the next Deadpool movie they're gonna have a uh, Wolverine in it. Mm. But I like how like did you do you remember like some of the like the Marvel movies? I mean, not the Marvel the the X Men movies, like the the recent ones. Um, the like, recent ones were like with some young people, right? They were mm-hmm. like young. Yeah, I think so. Do you know which one was your favorite one? Um. Cause I remember there was there was first class that was the one where it was Charles Xavier and freaking Magneto and they was looking for people who had like the the that, that were mutants and it was like they brought that's when they created the school. Mm. Wait, when was the one? What's that dude with the laser eyes? Cyclops. And he was like, he was missing his girl. Oh, that was I um, like that one. Dark Phoenix, I think. Yeah, that shit was tough. Yeah, Man, she's OP. Yo, she was so OP. Nigga, I was like, the, I'm like, I'm a fan. Like, she was so tough. Nigga, the, her power was literally creating and destroying everything. Yeah, like that shit was so. She was tough. What type that of cheese tough. is that? And then Cyclops was like, baby, I love you, type shit. <laughs> like, come back. She was like, nah, God, nah, I got too much power. I'm the, OP. Cyclops shit was Loki kind of mid. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I, I like like the, he couldn't even like bro without that freaking he couldn't control the it. goggles nigga bro he like a grown ass man he can't control yeah. that shit by now <laughs> no nah. man just be like nah. nah he just look at you and just and he could turn it off like nah, Cyclops nigga, can't he, even he needs to put the, the glasses needs to up doop 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 like <laughs> if somebody freaking shoots that thing off he he's, he's just out of up. control I think he's gonna kill everybody he's gonna <laughs> cut a whole he gonna slice the world in half That's I like what I'm saying I think my favorite one was when um. It was the Days and Future Past one when when Wolverine got sent back to the past to like change like some shit that was happening in the future? Mm. Do you remember that one? I think so. It yeah. was like that. It was the 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 little dude from Game of Thrones. Like he created like oh. a robot. They created the robots that kill all the mutants, and he tried he had to try to stop him some shit. I like that one. Type shit. But like, I think it's the X Men is kind of weird because like like you know how in Marvel like they have like a timeline, mm-hmm. and the X Men everything is like jumping back and forth like this yeah that's the thing that used to confuse me too like that shit would go back in time then go forward yeah like shit. like the first one like apocalypse was loki like the second one but that was like the one of the newer ones and then dark phoenix was like in the middle somewhere but it was like the the latest one but like i don't know it was i i, I, I was watching it because um my boy gave me his disney plus account shout out mm. my nigga alex if you're watching this shit my nigga, bro. So who's your favorite freaking uh X Men? Yeah. There's hella there. There's he- there's a That's lot. That's why I thought it was like the I thought they were their own thing or some shit. Nah, there's just they just cause like everybody in that world has like like somebody has like a mutant gene. That's what it. I'm saying. Like, that, I look at it should be in DC because that's what they was doing in like the DC movies. Like they have like remember like in um did you ever watch Young Justice? Uh yeah. You remember when like People had like mutant powers. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know why. That's the same shit with like the X Men. Like mm, some yeah. random people had powers, but I think my favorite one is probably. <sighs> Does Deadpool count? We count Wait, Deadpool. He's X Men. Uh, he's like he's like a cameo nigga. I don't think so. I, I won't. I won't count. He's like a. Nah, he not X Men. Right, he's Cap. not X Men. He's not X Men. I was about to say him too, but I'm like, wait, no, I don't think he's X Men. But he started out in X Men. That's what I'm he saying. Did? Like. There was a part he wasn't he didn't he wasn't I ain't gonna lie I'm not I, I just be watching movies me too I, I don't really watch the cartoons I mean I used to watch the cartoons when I was younger but I mean I just remember, I just watched them because they were cool I'm not really like a a big fan yeah. I mean the movies I'll go see but. yeah I mean I I rem, I just remember one part it was like he wasn't in it but like they showed him like as like a cameo mm. type of shit but probably. <sighs> There were some tough people. I I thought Storm was tough. Storm was tough. I was gonna say Mystique. Mystique. 
Mystique, Mystique was Magneto. tough. Magneto. I liked, uh, what's that dude's name? I thought Nightcrawler was tough. Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler was, was tough. so tough. He just looked weird. That nigga just yeah. ugly as shit. And some some of the movies, they made him mid, though. Yeah. Like, they made him mid, but nigga. he's mad tough. He be freaking teleporting and shit. That or that nigga Havoc. Tough. Yeah. That nigga, he was like the better version of Cyclops. I ain't gonna lie. Cause that nigga could control like the little beam that. Cause remember he had like a beam that came out of his chest. Mm. He, but he, he, it was like the same thing Cyclops had, but he could like control it. He just gotta go like this, and then. But wasn't there a dude that like he did? He had like cards or some shit, and he used to oh, like, oh. throw like cards. I thought he was tough. He Fuck, would, he would be what was that nigga up. name, bro? Hold on, I know who you're talking about. X Men with cards. What was, <laughs> his, what was his name? I don't know his name. Good. What was this nigga name? Ooh. Wait, X Men <laughs> that use cards. What was his name? Gambit. That's his name. Mm. Gambit. Gambit. What was his power? That nigga though? be gambling. Nah, low key. <laughs> Freaking cards. That was his <laughs> oh yeah. Was this? And then oh no, low key. I low key fuck with Quicksilver though. Mm. Quicksilver was tough. Quicksilver was tough. I just. But like, there were so many, I forgot the X Men. I ain't going. Quicksilver, well. that nigga Colossus was just basically steel. Like he was just like a. a like, yeah, there was a lot of mid X Men. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't really like. This is a fan favorite too. This is about to be, they about to hate me, but I I really didn't like the Beast dude. The Beast dude, yeah, he's so <laughs> I, mid. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, he's, he's just smart to... and blue and uh like want to be like werewolf. Like no, nah, nigga is just like the Beast from like the Disney movies, but yeah, just blue. He, he was. I don't really also, like I don't like. I don't really. I feel like what's the nigga name? Oh, one of the fire dudes. I forgot what the fire dude name is. I thought he was kind of mid. Also, I feel like either I was it the. What was that? I forgot what the nigga name was. Oh no, there's a dude that like his power is like his dreads. <laughs> what? Like he was just he be swinging his dreads and it's like knives or some shit. That shit's so ass. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Could be cheesy, but nah, I don't know. That shit's <laughs> fucking ass, bro. That shit was he's so like, when you start talking shit to a random nigga one day, he just pull out a sword and like, dress. Nah, that shit was so booty, bro. <laughs> and then nah, the low-key bet cheesiest one was that girl from Deadpool. She was like, her name was like Lucky or some shit like that. And her power was just like, she's just very lucky. Oh yeah. What she the was heck? cheese. I ain't gonna like, lie. Like I forgot she was supposed to die like mad times and it just like fell to the side of her. Yes, like, something right. was happening. Nah, that's that's cheese. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. She'll, Loki probably never die. She would never die. Like she was in a car crash and she was just like walking past everything, like uh, and like like she'll just like randomly just fall out the thing and she'll live. Oh, I think that that Phoenix girl. Is, is oh no, no, I was about to say she's OD. Yeah, but that's she's, that's cheese though. Like that's literally like she's God. <laughs> like what the fuck? She's literally God, bro. Hey, she was too tough. Fuck that shit, bro. I, oh, I want to talk about this one thing that I've seen going on around the world. So NASA was saying that there could possibly be an internet apocalypse in mm. the next upcoming months. Have you seen, talk, heard about that? Yeah. Like they said, like they sent out a space probe to like the sun because I guess they, uh, the sun is like emitting like solar flares and like the solar flares yeah. are so strong it's going to knock out our internet. So Man. just So just imagine, like they said it could be months or years. Imagine months or years without the internet. Especially now, maybe when we was kids, it would have been cool because we really didn't rely on it too much. But nah, now, gonna be, uh, it would be very bad. Nah, the world would be fucked up. It would be fucked up. First of all, you know how many online businesses, online there are? businesses, bank nigga, all of our money is in online banks, my nigga. That's what I'm saying. Because you know the banks don't really have the money. Like everything is just in debt. Like even even the freaking government saying we don't even have enough money. Like we all we like reached our debt limit or some weird shit. So imagine that doesn't even make sense, and we print money. That's what I'm saying. It don't make. I don't understand. Can and you just like spam it? Like just print mad money. I bro. guess they said that they lowers the value. That's probably why they're trying to print more money. Is like the value is going down. And well, down. I mean, the value already went down. Half of the world stopped using the U.S. dollar. So exactly. Shit. So it's freaking shit. everything just getting that, shitty, bro. I was about to say the internet. It might be good or good reset, but now nah, we really might have to start from like ground zero. Ground man. zero, bro. Like, that's terrible, nigga. We can't even go online. Like, nigga, we gotta like, go back to the library before we went. Yeah, that means that means if that internet really goes out, think about the prices of books. Books oh, are already expensive. That should go go up. Oh my gosh, books are gonna be like hundreds, thousands of dollars. Wait, so like. does that mean that we have to carry cash from now on? Shit, because like, would even would even cards work at that point? Like, maybe. And like I heard, like the, the like cell phone connections would be bad too. Oh yeah, like when niggas can't even call we'll have people. Have to use landlines. Oh damn, we really gonna get resets like the nineties, bro. 
Yeah, that's going to be... Every, everything's going to be expensive again. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be damn. a lot. I, ho- I hope it don't happen, bro. Yeah, that'll be crazy. Bro, they can't, like... What do you mean... Like they have so much technology, they can't like make a force field. Like they got sunscreen <laughs> and shit. Like, I, I bruh, <laughs> they got sunscreen. they got so much stuff. Like you telling me you can't stop. Like how you got sunglasses that could stop you from seeing, but you can't create like you a barrier? can't create a freaking barrier. Like bro, if the internet goes out, that's gonna be a lot of money. That's that's going out the Nigga, window. We're not even gonna have TV. No TV. Have, no more entertainment. It's not gonna be nothing. You gotta gotta go outside for real to have. Some fun. fun. You gotta see people. God damn, bro. Hey, maybe that would be good for us, though. Hey, it'll just force people to get back to going outside and doing stuff and yeah. actually living life. Yeah, yeah, that's good though. I feel like I, I low key feel like they're like trying to gel off of us and like they're gonna turn off the internet themselves. Hey, bro, you never know at this. That's point. what I'm saying. Like, you bro, never remember when know. freaking that shit happened with the dang the wait? Were you you had a a PS3 during the time when the freaking internet was nah, down, I didn't. I didn't have a PS3. Bruh. Motherfucking, the hackers had that shit down for like months, bro. Oh yeah, I think I, I think you told me about that. Yeah, like dead ass. There was no online for PlayStation for, for months. months, and like you know, niggas on Xbox were just laughing at us, but niggas dead ass hacked the servers, like. Wow. That shit could. That's what I'm saying. How's that? Ha- how's that not happened yet? Like that happened when the PS3 was out, my boy. Exactly. So imagine that now. can easily happen now. Could, yo, bro, you know how many hackers are on the world? I heard there was there was there was one guy. He was one hack. He was a. He went on a podcast. And he was talking about he was an actual like international hacker, and he was saying like, yeah, I have this thing in my pocket right here, and like he's like, look, watch this. He'll press it, and he'll get the nigga's whole information from his phone. So he said, I got all your passwords. I got all your bank statements right here on my phone. That's why you have to have, he said you have to have like certain wallets, like that little metal wallet or some shit. So people can't like scan your wallet yeah, from like bro, your pocket. Yeah, because like, well, yeah, certain materials stop uh, like the radio waves yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like, it'll like protect you from, they, yeah. he was saying like you put like aluminum or something like that. And yeah. he was saying like, yeah. He said like, I can go into your passwords easy. Like I saw, like he used to like steal money and shit like that. I'm like, yo. This nigga was fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. And like that's what niggas out there, niggas out here living, they'd be like 15-year-old niggas that could hi- hack yeah. the whole fucking government if they really wanted to. So imagine a nigga that's been practicing from 15 to 35. So 20 years of practice. He can really shut off the internet if he really wants to. That dude is freaking um Lester on steroids. On God, bro. <laughs> on God, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. But oh, all right. So would you rather live in a town that has a secret serial killer? Or murderer, and the only way to stop him is to either you have to kill him or you have to you have to catch him and like arrest him. Mm. Or would you rather have? Would you be that serial killer and you have the urges to do all these terrible things to these people? Damn, um, I'm not a killer. You're not a killer, but would you but live in a town? And you can't leave the town, by the way. That's what I'm saying. I'm not a killer. But do I want to look for the killer? Is that's what I'm saying. <laughs> do you want to be, <laughs> be involved with that shit? Because that nigga. Why do I just want to commit the crimes and just deal with the consequences? Like, just imagine. But you got, damn, I don't want to do no craziness, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, 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 Michael. Like, you want something. I might have to just try to set cuz up. Just set him up. I think I'm going to have to kill, booby trap him. I think I'm going to do that shit, too, on some Scooby-Doo shit. I ain't going to lie. I might have to be like, yo, bro, let's meet up somewhere and just, and just light him up. <laughs> It's just light him light up. Him up. What if that nigga OD though? Like, what if he's smart? Like, he's like, like you don't even know who like he's he is. Like John Wick. Like, not John Wick, but like you just like he's secretive. Like you just don't know. Like it could be anybody. Nigga got a mask on. You just don't know. That should drive you cra- crazy, bro. Because niggas can't even find murderers now, for real. Wait, how long is he gonna be there for? Until he's either killed or caught. Damn. Yeah, bro. It could be a while. Yeah, it could be a minute, bro. Mm. I think I'm gonna do. I can't. I can't be no killer though. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm. I'm. A, I'm gonna have to just look for the dude. I'm not being. I'm not being the killer though. I, I risk my life for the world. I can't because, like, like on some like Jeffrey I'm Dahmer. Just, I'm just gonna go out. Oh no. Nah. Like on some Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, what's that other uh, Ted Bundy type of urges, of like wanting nah, to kill niggas. That's that's a different level of thinking. I'm not on that level. Yeah, no, nah, I don't want that <laughs> shit, bro. I'm gonna just have to. Um, 
I'm gonna have to look for cuz. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm I'm good off that. Like he like I, I was telling y'all before, there's mad like serial killers in the world that we don't even know about. Or at least in our country. Because I heard like even like outside the US, like serial killers are not really a thing. Like all Ugh. these mass shootings, all it's just only in our country, which I don't understand why. Like they because, said Because bro, we greedy over here, bro. We greedy. But it's like niggas with like mental it's like the mental issues. Mm. Like they just have like either like schizophrenia or they just like they don't feel no remorse like psych like sociopaths like you don't know what a thing too i think is because you gotta think about it you know when everybody thinks of america they think of rich and they think of like you know quote unquote the free world yeah, yeah. Like you gotta think about it. low key we could do whatever we want over here as long as we're not I'll killing s- killing people you know yeah yeah doing crazy shit. like in other countries you really can't do much you can't do anything you can't wear certain stuff you can't mm-hmm. dress a certain type you can't even go out the house looking a certain type of way yeah so i just feel like you think it's the freedom aspect of it yeah like like i said you know certain countries are super 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 strict like you gotta think about it think about it like think about a place like north korea bro they probably got like no crime over there oh yeah no they probably got no crime at all like they even they feel like you disrespecting the leader. You're done. You're off. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. But but do you think that's a little too much of an extent? I mean, of course. Yeah, yeah. I don't agree with that, of course. But I mean, a hey, the country is, it's. I mean, they're closed off from the world, but they're pretty self sufficient. I mean, nobody yeah. f- nobody fucks with them. Yeah, for nobody a does. Reason. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But do I want to live under that roof? Of course. Of course not. not. Yeah. Of course not. But like, I, I guess that does make sense because like people, if we're so free, it's like it gives niggas more opportunities to just do to like crazy do shit. whatever we want. That's what I'm saying. Especially that's what I'm saying. Especially the people. That's what I'm saying. When people get rich, a lot of them move to these countries mm-hmm. where there's like where there's no laws. I mean, there's laws, but like if you have a lot of money and Let's say the currency down there is low, is way low, bro. Mm-hmm. You could literally do whatever you want. Like that's why them, that's why them like South America is like so affluent in drugs and all this stuff. Oh, because you got all the rich niggas down there. Yeah, just rich people going down there, and taxes are different too. Like I heard, mad places in South America, you could just buy land and then mm-hmm. like no taxes at all. Yeah, just straight land. Like I heard, Argentina is like really big on that, bro. So many places, so people be doing whatever with this money and stuff man. like like even like you heard about like that whole i think it was that nft scandal weird shit yeah when they when it was i guess like steph curry and like tom Brady like invested like millions of dollars into like an nft and the nigga took their bread and went to argentina and they can't touch him now because they can't get like expedited or whatever yeah that's what i'm saying certain laws they you can't if somebody's there they they there for good like, mm-hmm. that's or you, crazy, or you just can't take bro. them back yeah that's crazy that's so crazy bro but and then, even with the the serial killer shit, bro. Like you know, there was a serial killer that got drafted into the NFL, bro. Ain't no way. Not recently, not recently, but it was like in the seventies. So, it was he got drafted. His name was um, what was his fucking name, bro? His name was fucking Randy Randy Woodfield. He got drafted in the nineteen seventy four to the Green Bay Packers, right? You sound like a killer. I ain't going. Lie. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Niggas sound crazy, bro. So he got drafted into the NFL. And then during the eight, I think he got cut though. But then during the eighties, he lived in like Oregon or whatever, and he killed supposedly killed like forty people, like like on the highway. Like he said he would kidnap them, do like 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 sexually assault them, whatever, freaking rob them and shit like that. And then he would like lay them down on the floor and just shoot them in the back of the head. And then one lady like like actually like survived and got out of it. Like so, what he would do is like you know athletic tape. Mm-hmm. He would tie them up with athletic athletic tape, like their hands and shit like that. And he will come in with like you know when football players they have that shit over their nose. He will come in like that. I don't know why, but she said like <laughs> she said like she he shot her, but she ended up living from it. So like when she told the cops, she gave a description. They they paint the picture. It was him, and they arrested him. He's I think he's in prison right now. He's like seven years old right now. That nigga got drafted into the NFL. And he was a freaking killer, bro. Forty at least. At least forty people, forty, could, bodies 40 to seventy, bro. Bro, they ain't freaking, they ain't freaking, nah, bro. Annihilate, cause nah, like, cause I don't bro, know. how many? Not to sound messed up, but how many kill confirms, dudes? Cause you know they be quick to freaking, uh, shit. Black person do some shit. That's bro. what I'm saying. They, they quick- ready, they ready to give cause the chair immediately. Exactly, but hey, that's just, man, kill forty people and he's he's still alive, bro. That's, niggas get. Niggas That's go like to, a mini army, man. Bro, niggas be n- black people in general will go to jail for 
10, 20 years for having weed on them. Yeah. But the niggas that be killing people, they will go to jail for the same amount of time. Like, how yeah. does that make any That's sense? So how does that nuts. correlate? And then if they do good, they'll probably get out in like 15, exactly. 10 years. They get out and then they do the good same behavior. I'm like, bro. Get him, get him back in there, bro. He like, needs, he needs more time to think about what he did. That's bro. what I'm saying. Like, and they'll, they'll go out, and then they'll go out and then do the same shit and then come back to jail. Like, nigga, you thought he, he changed? The fuck, niggas don't change, bro. Yeah, like, that's bro. what I'm saying. I feel like once, I don't know. Like, niggas don't like niggas is crazy, bro. Like, I, I don't know, bro. The, I feel like the justice system is a little wonky, bro. Especially, Definitely is. Definitely is, cause there's a lot. That's what I'm saying. There's not. There's not anything that money cannot buy. As exactly. Much as, as much as people say money doesn't buy everything, or it can buy honestly whatever. Whatever you can like, think of, my nigga. Whatever yeah, you, you can. You don't think, think of. if you give a judge a billion dollars, you give him any source of m- much more money than what he's making, that he's not gonna be like, all right, I'm not gonna send this dude to jail. Exactly. You don't think that's gonna happen? You're. Okay. That shit happens a lot. You're. Uh, I think he's bribe judges every day, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. Oh. So I was speaking of that, right? So would you rather be wealthy, be filthy rich, but die mm-hmm. at the age of thirty-five, or have a very hard and poor life, but win the lottery at the age of thirty-five? Oh, it's up! I'm winning that lottery. I'll I'll be down bad. Shit, I could have been down bad since out the womb. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm winning that, lo- wait, how much is the lottery though? Life changing money. Oh, shit. I mean, at that point, like, what's thirty-five it matter? years? Shit, I'm. I don't, it doesn't matter. But I'm what talking I'm about doing. you living on the streets. You homeless. Sh- you you might like a couple years you might be homeless. Couple years you you might be abused or something. Like it's a hard ass life. Oh dang! Like hard life. <laughs> like super hard life. Yeah. Or straight out the womb, you got the most money you could possibly think of, but you die at 35 on a. Couple. Yeah, but I'll still do that. Like I said, I'm about to be. I got 35. Is like 10 more. Yeah, I know 10, 10 more, more years, years bro. So hey, that, shit, that's if I. Even if I got filthy rich right out the womb, I feel like life. That's what I'm saying. Even when you when you start spending a lot of money and stuff, like life low key goes by very fast. Yeah, especially yeah. when you got a lot of money. Like even if you feel like I feel like I could think I did everything at 30 and still be like, then I die and I'm like, damn, I still didn't do this or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nah, I, I feel like there's still so much more. After thirty five, yeah, I think I, I think I'll do. I'll have a hard life. I needs that, but like, just imagine that. everything just don't go my way. That that way, Loki. That means your life is going. That shit going to feel like long as hell. Like you just trying yeah, to. There's probably gonna be times I would think about suicide. Yeah, there's gonna be hella times <laughs> because like, yeah, bro, it's just this is life. Down, down bad things make people do crazy shit, bro. Do anything, basically anything. But I think I'll do that. I'll. I'll, and then once I play that one lot, when I'm 35, but you don't know it's going to happen. But like once you. Hey, it's life changing money. Life changing money, point. nigga. I'll cry, bro. I'll do that. Now That's the rest saying, of my I life. Know I'm going to be so up because like I'm going to just. I ain't have money, so I'm going to. Enjoy everything you got. smart, hopefully. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Hopefully, I think. But yeah, no, nah, 35 is crazy because there's already kids that die. Younger than me, mm-hmm. thirty five is still young. Yeah, I go through the I go through the, the worst to get to the rich. I, I feel will like go through that mud. I feel like that's how life is in general. I ain't gonna lie. You got to, bro. That's what I'm saying. People be saying, you know, why, why, why rich people? Another thing too. Um, you know, I feel like people, unless you know, people that are rich, you know, obviously one person had to grind. Yeah, yeah. But like the people that didn't have to grind, you know, I feel like. They don't really know what life is. Yeah, oh, everything is just given. But to you them? gotta go through some sort of trauma, regardless. You know, not the worst of the yeah, worst. Yeah, but you gotta but understand, like you gotta understand, everything is not. You're not go- always gonna have money. That's the thing about rich people. They mm-hmm. think they're always. I mean, yeah, the rich people always do have money, but mm-hmm. there might be a time where you don't have money. Yeah, they, you need to know how life is when it's when it gets critical. Some people don't know mm-hmm. how to control it, and I feel like once you like. Do all that shit, like go through the mud, and then now you finally have money, you like cherish it a lot more. You do because you don't now. Now I feel like that makes you a lot smarter because now you've seen where you could, like where you've been, and you don't want to go ever go back there again. So now you always like smart with your money and shit like that. Whether as though if you were born into it, you just you never know. So you always think that shit gonna be there every time. So yeah, one day bro, when that shit leave you, that's de- what you I'm done saying. Up. 
That's what I'm saying. You really, you really have to start off. You have to start off with zero dollars to understand. Like you can't start off with a million dollars. You're gonna, you're gonna spend that million. Like I forgot this soccer player. I forgot. I think it was this. I think he was like this African dude. Um, mm-hmm. He's like really good. I forgot who it was, but like they said he, most of his like like 70, 80 percent of his soccer check nigga said he was sending it. Back to his country. Oh, to Africa? And he said he was only living off his, uh, like, deals and promotions and stuff. He was sending most of his uh, max contract back to his country. Like, that's what I'm saying. When people, when you don't come from nothing, you you understand, like, giving back and stuff. Yeah. Type shit. That's why why I feel like I, like, I feel like, like, once this podcast gets to, like, the level where it will be in the future, which... It, it will it will get there you know it just takes time of course i feel like i would like even even this year we might do it like i want to do like some shit where we could like give back either to like you know like homeless people or some shit like yeah, that bro. do like a homeless food drive go to like give like donate toys to the kids for like christmas and shit, things like that i was thinking about doing that for the end of the year around christmas yeah, time. yeah that's nice bro because i just think i just look at life like this like you know yeah regardless you know we started from nothing Mm-hmm. But like I feel like just this world we live in, like like we were given life. Like to even be here is like a blessing and stuff. Exactly. So a like, lot of people everything if we go up, we gotta give something back. Mm-hmm. People always feel like, Man, I shouldn't get back, you know, I got all this shit by myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did, but but like it's it's just a matter of, of giving back. Like the resources you got from the earth, you feel me? Like give mm-hmm. back to the earth, you know. Taking all you got all this money, you building all these houses, you know, you know, build some trees, you know, that's give back to the homeless. That's why we can feed some people that don't got it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Hey, bro. We animals. Good. Get back to the animal shit. We eat all the animals. That's what I'm saying. Shit. Just try, like, it, bro. Just got to give back. Just got to try your best. That's why day by day, bro. That's why I'm glad. Like we, we're at a good point right now, but I think we could be a lot better. Yeah. We all, we can always grow from this. Of course, of course. There's growth in everything, bro. Yeah. And like the people, if you're watching this, if you made it all the way to the end of this, there's a lot of people that always hit me up about starting a podcast or how to do it. And I just, I always tell them like, yo, you just got to, whatever you, you just got to learn, prepare for it and just go dive right into it. Yeah. Like, you got to want to do it too. Like you yeah. can't just be like, yeah, it's a good idea. So I thought about it. you got to want for something, for anything to be good. Anything to be good. That's the thing about life. People think, yeah, you just got to put in the work. Yeah. Like, even if you put in the work for something, if you don't like enjoy you, doing it, it's never going to be you know, exactly. 100 or what you want it to mm-hmm. be. Like like I, shit. You like got to enjoy it. You got to enjoy what you want to do. You got to enjoy it. You still got to put the work into it. But most importantly, you got to believe in that shit. I ain't going to lie. You got to believe. Manifestation is real. Because when, when we first started this shit, bro, I didn't think it would get big this fast, but I knew it was going to be good. Like in my because you know me, bro. I don't do shit unless I'm full fledged. Like I'm thinking this shit's gonna work. Cause like yeah. I don't, I don't want niggas to be like, oh, this nigga did this shit for like three months and I don't want to do it no more because it did bad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I knew, I knew. Like once I put that shit, where I'm doing, I'm starting a podcast in the chat that day. I was like, all right, we gotta go full, full force into this shit. You just gotta put the work in, and then, hey, look where we are now. Indeed, bro. Going up day by day, bro. Indeed. Type shit. You got anything else you want to tell them though? Any more wise words from Ish? Hey, bro, just be yourself. Exactly. Be yourself. If you, you know, another thing I almost People forgot. People be trying. That's the thing about the internet, bro. It got all these motherfuckers acting, acting up. Weird. That's why y'all need to go outside. <laughs> Get off your phone. Stop. We need yeah, you could watch this, but after you done watching this, go outside. Talk to people. Stop Get some doing fresh that. fresh air, bro. There's too much people that's got that social anxiety. I get it. Yeah. I get it, but it's good. It'll be better for you in the future. Type shit, bro. Type shit. That's like I it. feel like niggas start podcast thinking it's easy because all you do is talk. It's not. It's 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 nah, not as bro. easy as it looks. I ain't nah, gonna lie. Bro. You gotta you gotta, gotta think about everything you do. We gotta think about what we talking about. You got everything, bro. Exactly. Everything. Type shit, bro. But thank you again, my nigga. Thanks for pulling up. Yeah, you know it. You good know vibes. It. Good vibe. Oh shit! I almost punched my <laughs> shit. <laughs> but thank y'all again for tuning in for another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number ninety five. Episode one hundred is on the way, people. If y'all ready for it, put it in the comments down. We got some good stuff coming. And after episode one hundred, we're going to go to season two. Season two, mm. No Regulars. Season two, episode one hundred and one. So uh, nice. follow all the socials, all that stuff. 
Subscribe to the Patreon if you want new exclusive content. No censors. So we're talking about hella crazy shit. The Ooh, la- no now the censors. last part, yeah, the last one that was with it was Tyrone, Jason, and UJ. That shit was fucking crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Like the clips out of that shit is wild. Niggas is <laughs> sick, bro. If y'all want to listen to I that, subscribe. Five, only five dollars a month. You get you get new content, bonus podcasts. You get other content. You might get vlogs, game shows. You get discounts for all the merch. You get input of what you want us to talk about on the podcast all that shit for only five dollars that's not that much bread bro y'all pay for freaking netflix. thirty dollars netflix and they be taking your favorite movies off there your favorite tv shows bro. exactly bro we got the good stuff we got bro. all the good stuff so yeah follow <laughs> that subscribe to that we different they regular no records man gag stuff i'm gonna go get it i'm gonna go get it i'm gonna go get it